Hey guys, it's Toasted Baby, and uh, just coming at you with a little bit of a tutorial today for uh, clipping building items into each other in Fallout 4. So, let's say you want to have a, a shower inside of a dumpster. I mean, you never know. Or maybe something a little bit more practical. You want to have a corner like this where you have your main door, but you can't build because there's a wall here. And you just need to clip this little door frame into the wall. Or... Let's say you have a big bank vault door, and you want to get that bank vault door into a big concrete wall, or brick wall. Cinder block wall, there we go. So, you can go ahead and, it's actually, uh, you can, sorry, only for PC, sorry guys. Uh, you need the console for it. So, normally the security door won't be able to fit into this concrete wall. I don't think anything is supposed to go in there. Um, but, it's actually very, very simple. All you need to do is get your building materials. Let's go ahead and open up our building menu. Uh... Let's go ahead and just go to metal, get some walls up. Okay, so you need to build the walls that you want. Um, let's see, it's going to do... Actually, we need the wall to go there. So, uh, first thing you want to do is just not build anything. And the way that this works is it uses no clip. So, no clip, you do TCL, and it's toggle collision. So, we have collision off. And then for the items that you want to clip into, you just select them, just like this, so you can move them around, and then you just push tab or whatever your cancel button is to cancel it, and now you cannot select it. So you see that there's no blue outline, but there is a blue outline around here. That means you can now clip into this object that you can't select. So if you go back to walls, you see that it now uh, nicely snaps to there, and it'll snap to there, but we don't want to have a wall there because that's what we're going to use. So now we want to have this item here. And it'll snap in perfectly, just like that. So, as you can see, it now clips in just like that. Clips into the wall. And because it clips into the wall because when you place an object, when you're in no clip mode, then it also deselects that. So, as you can see, you can't select that wall, can't select this. But if we go out of no clip mode and then go back into it, we can now select the objects again. So, that's just how you toggle it on and off. So, you select that cancel and then you're good to go to go uh, you will notice that because the objects are clipping into each other as you do to get this weird tiny little texture niggle nibble thing there but you don't really need to worry about that I mean look you, you're clipping objects into, into each other things shit's gonna happen breaking physics but so that's one use you could do for it uh, bank vault door and the concrete one basically do the same thing put the concrete wall down select it deselect it then you get the bank vault door throw it in there I mean uh, the those do come from mods, so, you know, don't worry about that. Uh, something probably a little bit more useful, or not, well, I mean, that's also useful. Something a little bit uh, simpler that you can do for it. Uh, let's say you have a weapon crafting bench like this. And you're like, hey, you know what? I want to keep all of the weapon mods that I've made in a location that I can easily access without having to have, you know, containers around here. So, you know what? Problem solved. Let's go into no clip mode. We'll select that weapons workbench. Deselect it. Wait, no, was it? Collision off. There we go. All right, I was already in there. So we'll go ahead and select that weapons workbench. Deselect it, so you can't select it anymore. And if we go to furniture, let's get some containers. Uh, let's see, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? What is that? Hmm. Something a little bit more practical. Uh, gore bag. Perfect. No, shit, I don't have the materials for it. Oh, this will work. Uh, metal box. So which way is front from the metal box? At the front. There's the engine at the back. Okay, so this is the front. Uh, if we do this, then we can just go ahead and clip this metal box into the bottom. Right. Uh, yeah, the bounding box bit. Right there. And then if we go out of no clip mode, exit out of the workshop, then we have access to this metal box. Well, so we have access to the metal box, we can throw stuff in there. And then we still have access to the workbench, so you just keep all your mods in there. Workbench right there. Uh, this can be used for pretty much everything. Um, I mean, again, showers and dumpsters. Actually, I want to go do it in here, because I need a carpet underneath my table. So, if we go into build mode, toggle collision off, select you, select you, select you, select you, select you, select you. you. You, you, and you. So it's all good. Now all we need to do is get some decoration, some floor coverings, and we'll get a nice uh, rocket ship carpet. Perfect. Rocket ship carpet there, and then rocket ship carpet there. And now I have a nice, uh, nice, nice carpet underneath my my dinner table, my dining room table. So yeah, uh, longer tutorial than I wanted it to be, but I ramble on a lot. Anyway, that's uh, on PC. That's a 
As you can see, I have a little chest thing there. Uh, anyway, but uh, that's a little way to get objects to clip into each other. It's very useful for building houses. I used it a lot, as you can see from up here. I have a roof phasing into my shack wall. It's great. But uh, yeah, so that's a little way you can do it. It makes building a lot easier. You can do a lot more than uh, Bethesda originally let you do. And uh, it's just really, really useful for building that perfect house or, uh, you know, getting that, that that's perfect workbench box combination. I don't fucking know. Anyway, so uh, have fun with it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.